All right, children, rambling report. I've decided to pop in and give y'all one of these. It's been a minute. How y'all doing? I'm doing all right. Just, you know, in that weird uh, transitionary period where I don't know anything at all. I don't know nothing. But anyway, um, rambling report. I am on B. Scott's page. Kerry Washington is headed back to Broadway with American Son. I didn't know she was ever on Broadway, I don't think. But good for her. Check. A check is still a check. Diddy no longer wants to own an NFL te team. I don't want to be associated with oppressing black men. Well, Diddy, that's what it was before. What changed your mind? <laughs> like, I don't understand. First of all, I think Diddy owning a black team and having the knowledge and understanding that the NFL is oppressive could make a difference by just don't be oppressive. Like, like own the team, uh, hear them out, and go a different direction with your team. But uh, well, I don't know, child. Um... Anthony Bourdain um, committed suicide, which is terrible. And Kate Spade also, I believe, on Sunday committed suicide. So that's going on right now. It's, it's unfortunate, but depression is heavy. It's heavy and strong, and it's, it's out here. And it's sitting on the girls, because it's sitting on me. Um, I'm not talking about Pusha T. Substitute teacher under fire for mocking child's hair on Instagram. I'm not going to show you the post, but the baby's hair is flying, as children's hair tends to do. Um, and he posted a picture of, actually, maybe I can cover. How do I? Wait, hold on. I'm going to cover the baby. Oh, nope. That's my notifications. This is not working out. Okay, well, I tried <laughs> I tried to cover one side of the photograph and uh, show you. But it was um, whichever that Wayne's brother is, and don't be a menace to South Central while drinking orange juice in the hood. He had his hair, you know, all crazy. It's a side-by-side -side comparison of that and... As somebody who's supposed to be teaching the children, a substitute or not, you're supposed to be teaching the children. So taking a photograph of somebody's child and posting it on social media for laughs. But they let anybody be a substitute, so it really, like... I know the biggest <laughs> school arguments and beefs I had were with substitute teachers who had a problem with me for no reason, so... Atlanta has been renewed for a third season. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna come out of the closet and let you all know that I've only seen two episodes of Atlanta. I like the show. I just haven't gone back to watch the show. Okay. Back window is cursed. She's just doing her own thing. Like girl. Anyway, I like the show, uh, the episodes that I saw, and I've heard nothing but rave reviews about the show. I'm just the type of person that has to watch things in chronological order. Um, whether the show is a chronological show or not, I have to watch it in chronological order. And I haven't been able to go back and catch episode three of season one. So I haven't watched any, any of the rest of the show. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe tonight. I ain't got nothing to do. I'm just doing art stuff, painting and stuff. So, I don't know. Nicki Minaj unveils Queen album artwork. want for Nicholas to do in her what is it she's I think she'll be 36 this year I want Nicholas to put the titties away I wanted to put the titties away we've had Nikki for 10 years uh, mainstream because I believe the year was 2008 when she annihilated the girls on the five-star uh, remix when she had just had an epiphany and needed to go directly to Tiffany's uh, with the Fendi on her slippers and her cookies always slippery she did not need help she paid the bills on time so she'd be yelling f him with a dildo sign which i don't know where you would even why why do you have a dildo sign five little mama you a three star i ain't sleeping when i say i'm in my dream car oh did i stutter she didn't harajuku hyphen barbie i'm hot i think it's time to put the rice in now first of all you would cook the rice first so hopefully she's putting already cooked rice in with the... anyway the point <laughs> is um her titties were sitting up just pronounced in that music video that's the first time i saw her new titties because you know <laughs> you know like and she's had several several pair of titties since then but those titties were sitting up 10 years ago and you know it's like okay she's you know 20s cute you know giving us you know festivities and festivities um but then sis like she turned like 32 33 and she was like you know what i've got these fresh ones Dr. Miami just put these in, so I'm gonna set them out, 
I want everyone to see them all the time. I'm wearing nothing but pasties at all times and you will deal. And I don't want to deal. I don't want to deal anymore. It's like, okay, Nikki, give us something else. Give me something else. I'm anxiously awaiting the album because I am an original Nikki stan. Like I was the girl in 2007, like, hey, 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 check out this girl. Her name's Nikki Minaj, get into it. It's a look, it's, it's everything. Um, kind of like I was with Cash Now. But anyway, like girls go and listen, I was that girl. But it's, it's just like, okay, you're not giving me, I don't know. I just want her to put them away. Put, put them away. Ugh. Christina Aguilera featuring Gold Link, like I do. I do like Gold Link. I love his sound. Um, Christina gets me every now and then. Um, so I'm gonna listen to it and I'm gonna call y'all bike. But I'm not living for Christina's new look. She she looks had. Had. <laughs> Little Wayne settles cash money lawsuit for ten million, plans to release the card at five. Well good. Good. Is anybody still checking for it? Is anybody still waiting on it? It's been so long since I've heard a new Lil Wayne song that I'm I mean I'm interested to hear what it's gonna sound like. Is this something he recorded right after the Carter Four? that he is now releasing or is this something that he recorded after you know has recorded since he knew the lawsuit was gonna get settled like what is this what is it i'm gonna listen i'm gonna call y'all back um we're not talking about racists today i'm not talking about drake today um kate spade's husband issued statement on her suicide there were personal demons she was battling well yeah girl that's why people commit suicide like not to sound insensitive, but if you kill yourself, you are obviously battling personal demons, <laughs> even impersonal. Like, I don't know. I'm not talking about Felon Bay. Oh, he had a baby. Congrats. Um, let's see. So let's talk about these twins. Beyonce and Jay-Z have started on the run. I feel a drip, but when I wipe, there's nothing. When I dab, there's nothing. Anyway, um... Something just dinged. Oh, okay. Maybe it's her phone. It was loud. I thought it was in my car. Um, so Beyonce and Jay-Z started their tour on the run. That's what's missing. I'm missing my rings. I'm like, I, I feel naked. Um, they started their tour, and obviously, you know, in the tour, they have the moments where they, you know, dedicate time for y'all to watch their home videos and carrying on. Um, and there's several parts in the video where you see Beyonce holding some twins. So BuzzFeed reached out to Beyonce's camp for what reason, I don't know. And Beyonce's camp said that the babies that Beyonce is holding are babies that Beyonce is holding. Is holding? The babies Beyonce is holding, yes. The babies in Beyonce's arms <laughs> um, are not Sir and Rumi Carter. To that I say lie again. Lie one more time. First of all, and this lie again is multifaceted because the lie again could go to Beyonce and Jay-Z with lie again and tell me these kids are yours, but they not. Lie again. And the second lie again uh, goes to BuzzFeed or whoever told BuzzFeed that that ain't the kids. Because when you look at the vow renewal, which why did we even renew the vows? I'm still not with Jay-Z. I'm still not sitting on his side of the table. I'm sitting uh, with Solange, a seat at that table. But, um... When you see the footage of the vow renew renewal, the babies that are in the camera, the girls, uh, Rumi, look just like baby Beyonce and the Blue Ivy. She looked just like baby Beyonce and the Blue Ivy. And the boy on the other side of the camera, and I'm pointing in, I know the camera gonna flip, but whatever. The boy um, looks just like Jules, Solange's son when he was a baby who I just loved <laughs> I was so obsessed with little Jules when he was a baby I was like I was like 13 <laughs> I was like I just have to see him everywhere he's precious anyway um and I looked up I looked at some footage of him with his grandma the other day and he like a grown man and I'm like well, how how it doesn't make sense anyway um so to everybody I say lie again lie again Orlando Brown got a tattoo of Raven on his clavicle, on his decolletage, on his decollete, on his chesticles. Um, 
and he also got arrested. Now, see, I thought that the tattoo was a joke, but then he got arrested, and the tattoo is in the mugshot, so it's real. And I don't know why, but that that's a testament uh, to the fact that lesbians will ruin your life if you let them. Um, they will. They'll just destroy your life, and it's a shame. Moving along. Whitney Houston's Bible is up for sale for uh, $95,000. Now, I don't have $95,000, so I won't be purchasing the Bible. Um, but if I did have $95,000, I would try to purchase it because I know that's the Bible. That Whitney Houston sat with Monica and they read their scriptures and cussed out their niggas and rolled up their weed. I know it is. That Bible sat betwixt Whitney and Monica while they rolled the blunts. I know it did. I know it did. And I hope Brandy don't watch this video. Brandy, girl, we love you. We know that was your godmother, but that was Monica's godmother, too. And Monica and Whitney were far more similar than, okay. I'm not going to go into my, my tyrant, my, my tyrant, my rant. I've been watching Tyrant, and that's why. Uh, Michael B. Jordan refused to audition for roles written specifically for black actors. Okay, good good for um well first of all creed but <laughs> maybe he didn't audition for creed but creed had to have been black because the original creed was black but don't mind me um but that's good because that gives more black actors an opportunity because they don't have to go up against michael bajoy <laughs> michael bajoy and i'll be saying it like that henceforth um yeah that's i think that's cute audition for whatever you want to um and leave Travante Rhodes and Terrence Howard and Morris Chestnut and the four other black actors that are actively working at the moment um leave the roles to them sounds cute to me anyway Instagram is reportedly preparing to allow videos up to an hour long that would interest me I've never done an Instagram live um but I think the Instagram live videos are an hour long that would interest me if y'all would follow me on Instagram, but the majority of y'all don't. So it's not because I, I could upload some of these full videos up on the Instagram and y'all can watch them over there if y'all don't feel like coming to YouTube. But moving along, Tyrese sued by American Express for $61,000 unpaid credit bill. Tyrese is the thorn in my side. Tyrese was on the very first rambling report and he's been on like 17 of them since. He was the first person I dragged on this channel and he will probably be the last. I just am, uh, he is the thorn in my side, Jesus. Um, I'm not talking about white people today. I'm not talking about knees. Um, I'm not talking about Kate Spade again. Love her down, may she rest, but come on. Oprah Winfrey exhibit to open at the National African American Museum and I think that is appropriate. I heard a couple people say what is what has Oprah done to have a you know a, a, she she ain't Dr. Martin Luther King and she ain't Malcolm X and she ain't Rosa Parks but quiet as is kept neither is Rosa Parks. <laughs> Rosa Parks ain't Rosa Parks. Claudette Colvin is Rosa Parks but if y'all really want to be deep you just go over to your Googles and do your Google. Um, Oprah Winfrey was on TV for over 30 years daily pretty much she had her own show every day at four o'clock pretty much daily you know every weekday i think it was 25 years and she was the only black woman excuse me the only black woman to do so then oprah called the girls over at abc and said you know what not feeling the show thing not gonna do it anymore and of her own volition said mm, not gonna do the show so on my 17th birthday they aired the last episode of Oprah and Oprah then went over to her own network which is called own the Oprah Winfrey Network which is weird because they call it the own network which would make it the Oprah Winfrey Network network but that's not my business the point is a black woman from Mississippi <laughs> is deserved she deserves the, the exhibit because Oprah has done did it as a journalist as a talk show host as a network owner which I know a lot of people gonna say she sold the majority of the network da 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 do okay girl the point is she 
created the network. She started the network and she solicited black people to come over, to step on over and be a part of her black network. Come on now. I'm trying to take my key out the initial. Hiding fresh out the key. Oh, we can't celebrate our. Anyway, so Oprah deserves. Randy Jackson is re is reportedly stirring up drama between Janet and Wassam to help Janet win custody of Asa. Is it Asa? Isa? Aisha? Aisha. Um, first of all, Randy Jackson looks exactly like what Janet Jackson would look like out of drag. No shade. You know Janet's my mother. You know she's loved. She's beloved. Um, but Randy Jackson looked just like Janet Jackson. And I blame Catherine and Joe because there's no reason for your mom and daddy to look just alike. Because Joe looks exactly like what Catherine would look like out of drag. No shade. It's just what it is. Anyway, um, Randy's messy, so I believe it. Aisha Curry to host new family food fight show for ABC. Do we need more game shows? And why did they solicit black people to host game shows and that's it? Have you ever noticed, you ever turn over to the Game Show Network and it's Steve Harvey, Evan Addison, Sherry Shepard, your mama, your grandmama, and them. But then you go over to a primetime television show. Um, and I know Steve has his, his daily talk show and Anthony Anderson is on Blackish. But the point is, there's an overwhelming majority of black people hosting game shows and an underwhelming amount of black people just on TV. It's weird. I feel like it's more highly concentrated in, in the game show. Uh, just Michael Strahan. Like, like, what is this? It's weird. Um, Tinashe and Blake Griffin spotted hanging out in Las Vegas days after exes Ben Simmons and Kendall Jenner were linked. Did Blake Griffin go with Kendall Jenner? Are we still trying to pass off Kendall Jenner as straight? Is she straight passing? Okay. Lil Scrappy was hospitalized. He had a car uh, accident, so we praying for him. Issa Rae. Issa Rae hosted the CFDA Awards. Um, and she had a belt on that said, Every Nigga's a Star. And my heart, my heart sang. Because it's very much something I would do. And on this channel, I find, girl, I saw lightning. We got to wrap it up. <laughs> um, on this channel, I find a lot that people stay upset with me for calling myself and others nigga. You shouldn't say nigga because nigga is a word that white people created as a slur against black people and do to do blah blah. And... Okay, girl. The thing is, you cannot tell me what I can and cannot say, as I won't tell Issa Rae what she can and cannot say and where. And every nigga is a star is an accurate statement. Every nigga but R. Kelly and Bill Cosby is a star. <laughs> so... Anyway, girl, Oprah Winfrey drops $8.3 million on an island estate, sis. You buy a house, it's a house. Oprah buys a house, it's an estate, an island estate in Washington. I love it. I love it so much. Tyrese files for primary custody of daughter Shayla plans to move to Atlanta. You have to pay that bill first, girl. Kenya Moore shares video of one of her ultrasounds. My heart is overwhelmed. Kenya Moore, I believe from the bottomest of my heart, Kenya Moore is playing, y'all. I don't think she's physically pregnant. I think she has a surrogate tucked off somewhere. I'm sure this video, I'm not going to click the link, girl, because who cares like that, but I'm sure this video is directly, directly linked to a surrogate and not Kenya Moore's womb, which is fine. It's fine to have a surrogate, girl. You still going to have the baby. I don't understand. It don't make sense to me, child, but whatever. I feel like she lying, though. Shawnee O'Neal says she will not be attending, excuse me, she will not, because not is in caps, be attending Gloria Gavon and Derek Fisher's wedding. Okay, girl. Um, Serena Williams pulls out a French Open due to pectoral injury. Lord, is her breast okay? Cause ain't your peck any breast for a woman? As, as a man, I think your peck just is your breast. But anyway, we're praying for her. That sounds painful. It sounds like anytime you move your arm, because when you move your arm, it's connected all to you. <sighs> Bill Clinton says he doesn't owe Monica Lewinsky an apology. I am not old enough to um, know all the details of the Cosby Lewinsky um, situation. I know that, um, I know what happened as far as Monica was in there doing the most. <laughs> I was trying to think of a, a, a polite way to describe it, but we all know. We all know what was going on. She was doing the most. Um, I don't know how it got out. That that's what happened um 
did Bill himself leak it? Like, I don't understand. And I don't think that if, if he leaked it, then sure he owes her an apology because he ruined her life and her career. But if he didn't leak it and somebody else leaked it, then what he got to apologize for? If she willingly went in there and did the most. I'm confused. But again, I'm, I'm too young to remember. I don't even know that I was born. I might have been fresh when this was going on. So I, you know, either I was not born or I was, I had just arrived. But I think I wasn't born yet. Because I was born halfway through his second term. So I don't remember really Clinton as the president much at all. Phew. Excuse me. Supreme Court sides with homophobic baker who refused to make a wedding cake for same-sex couples. What I don't understand. Okay, it's rude of him to not make the cake. Yes. Would I have made the cake? Absolutely, honey. If I ever go into a baking business, I probably only serve homosexuals because honey, they, they when they have you back, they got you back. Um, taking that to the Supreme Court seems a little extra just to me now just to me because this is from what i understand it's just this one man this one man's personal opinion and i understand that okay listen my point is if it were walmart's bakery or kroger's bakery or Publix bakery um that somebody in there refused to make the cake then yeah let's take this to the supreme court but if this is this man's personal business as terrible as it is he has the right to be homophobic he just simply does now i wish he wasn't but he does have the right to that and that's why the supreme court probably sided <laughs> with him because he has a right to be homophobic if he personally wants to with his business now if he takes it into you know if he uh you know goes into what is it goes public and and has stock investors and all of that then you know we'll have to revisit but if it is, this is just this man plus why would you want to sue this man into making you a cake when you know he don't like you like i don't get it um, Trey Songs is being sued by a cop for alleged assault. That sounds incorrect. That sounds real incorrect. Like, Trey Songs, I've never known Trey Songs to hit a man. He loves hitting women. Now, is this a woman cop? That may make sense. Um, but a cop being assaulted by a black man is literally like a myth these days. They always say they've been assaulted or what, if somebody was threatening assault or, you know, they was putting a piece of gum in their mouth and it looked like a gun. Um, and they immediately kill them. So it's it's a reach. This feels like a reach to say that, you know, some, he was assaulted. Because I feel like Trey Songz would be dead. Anyway. Janet Jackson called police to check on one-year-old son's welfare. Come on now. One-year-old son's welfare while, she, while he was with his father. I mean, if you can't get nobody on the line, what you gonna do? Call the police. The pollen is trying me. I do apologize. Um... Jay Prince says he called Drake and told him not to respond to Pusha T. No, he didn't. We just knew that Drake wasn't going to respond to Pusha T. Like I told y'all in my Drake versus Pusha T video. <sighs> Off-duty FBI a agent drops his gun while dancing and accident accidentally shoots party goer. I couldn't say it because it's ridiculous. How? It does not make sense for you to be dancing first of all with your gun cocked and loaded girl not on safety and you ahead at the function i don't know um, i'm pretty much caught up because i ain't talking about sophia richie oh well sophia and scott broke up because uh, he allegedly caught she allegedly caught him cheating and flirting with other women which is like his main character flaw um, Kanye says he has bipolar, which, okay. Like, <laughs> okay. Um, Johnny Depp looks like, ooh, Tom Hanks in Philadelphia. He does not look strong. He doesn't look good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not talking about the rest of this. Regina Carter, um, and her boyfriend, why am I in Lucy? Lucci? Luke E. Uh, they've been detained by police in Tennessee. Uh huh. Um, let me just very briefly get into Tracy Morgan. Tracy Morgan, your behavior on whatever that show was with those gays, it was unneeded. So Tracy Morgan was doing a, a, a interview with some gays, honey. I don't know, and 
they asked him about Tiffany Haddish and how does it feel to have, you know, Tiffany Haddish on the set with her being, you know, her star rocketing and carrying on and things. Um, and he's, we're not going to go there. Everybody on the show is great. And, you know, if you're going to ask about Tiffany, you need to ask about, you know, craft services and this and that and the other. And the guy was like, yes, let's talk about craft services. <laughs> and I really need to go and look at the rest of the interview because I'm sure Tracy was shook. Um, but... I want Tracy Morgan to know that the show probably is only getting what it's getting. Because ain't nobody talking about The Last OG. Uh, it's only getting what it's getting due to the fact that Tiffany Haddish is on the show, girl. No, but Tracy Morgan's not funny. He's not. He's not funny. And especially, now he's lost a little bit of weight. But for a moment there, he just looked like a bloated corpse. And on top of you not being funny, you being Bobby Jones, um, Bobby Jones, <laughs> Bobby Jones too, but Bobby Brown um, shaped it's just not great for you it's not um let me see sierra and russell wilson announced plans to bring major league baseball team to portland cute that's cash that's money there um i don't really care to talk about the rest of this so that's that <laughs> hope you've enjoyed sitting with me and chatting and doing the things and carrying on um my mama just got home, so we may do a video of some sort. I don't know. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, all the things that YouTubers say, and share. Share my videos. Share them so the girls will know. I know y'all like to be stingy with me, but share me with your cousins now. Just let them see what's going on over here and how we're having a great time. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and all the things that YouTubers say, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.